and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jenny Campbell and I make fashion and beauty videos here on my channel on Monday and Wednesday. And on Friday, I make Functional Friday videos, which are mom hacks or lifestyle videos or sometimes DIYs. And today is Functional Friday and today I am doing a DIY. Today I wanted to make some fun spring farmhouse home decor for my house. So, and I also didn't want to spend a lot on it. So I went to the dollar store. I picked up some things that were left over from Valentine's Day and I made some really cute decor for my home that I cannot wait to share with you. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in seeing, then please keep on watching. Okay, for this first DIY, I got three bunches of hydrangeas, a vase that says made with love is super cute. I used some Waverly chalk paint, some lace ribbon, and I did use a piece of sandpaper, which I don't have laying out here, but I did not end up using that jute. Okay, to start out, I gave my vase a good coat of the Waverly chalk paint and I'm using the shade Pool, which is a sort of turquoise -y, light turquoise color. And so this vase actually ended up needing two coats of this color just so that it was more opaque and you couldn't see through it all the way. And so I went ahead and covered the entire vase with this. And after I had covered the entire vase with the chalk paint, I realized that it was kind of difficult to see the words made with love on there. And so I bought this specifically because it said made with love on there. And so I, once it was painted, you couldn't really see that anymore. So that's why I ended up pulling out the sandpaper, which I will pull out in just a second. Okay, here I'm just taking some sandpaper. I don't even know what grit this is. This is just sandpaper that I had. And I went ahead and everything that was sticking out a little bit, I went over with sandpaper so that it looked a little bit more weathered and just farmhousey. And also this helped the made with love part stick out a little bit better so that you could read it. Where before you couldn't really read what it said, but after that you could. And I also just thought this looked so much better just a little bit roughed up. I really liked the way it looked. Okay, next I just took my lace ribbon, which you can still find at the Dollar Tree, and I just saw some there today, and I went ahead and wrapped this around the bottom. There's a little lip there that's hard to see in the video, but I just wrapped it around and hot glued it there. I thought this looked really pretty and farmhousey with this vase, and then I took some more of that lace ribbon and just made a pretty bow to add to it, and I hot glued this bow right onto the vase. Okay, for this next DIY, I took some dish towels. I lost some of the footage, so you can't see what I did first, but I'm showing you here. I took a dish towel and I just folded it in half. I found one that I really liked the pattern. Folded it in half. I did cut the edges off. They were white, so I went ahead and cut them off. And I just hot glued the edges together. And then I took a pillow that we already had. It was an outdoor pillow. That's why the stuffing is sort of a green color. I'm not sure if that just means it's outdoor stuffing. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know why the stuffing on an outdoor pillow would be green. But anyway, I took that stuffing and I went ahead and just stuffed the dish towel. I left a little bit of a hole and I stuffed the dish towel with that stuffing. 
And then I'm just going to take my hot glue and I'm gonna close up that little opening. So this was a really easy craft to make and I was able to make a really cute little pillow to put on my couch or anywhere that I like it. My son actually asked if he could please have it. So I might let him have it, but I thought this was really cute. I also made another one which I will show you right here that says happy spring and so I made both of these. Okay, this next DIY is my favorite one. And so I got these love signs from the Dollar Tree and they are left over from Valentine's Day. And so they had these really pretty galvanized hearts on them. And so I went ahead, the first thing I did was take these galvanized hearts off and I took off the little string, hanging string, and just got rid of that. And there was some glue left over. So I went ahead and sanded down the parts where I had pulled off the hearts and I also there was some glue left over so I did have to pull that glue off but it was very easy it came off very easily and these sanded down really easily as well next I took my Waverly chalk paint in the color pool again and I just painted these boards with the chalk paint this took two coats but then I ended up adding another coat just over the red letters it did take a little bit of a third coat to cover those red letters they were kind of difficult to cover what I really liked about this was these boards already had the little grooves in them so they look really nice and ship lappy and I really loved the way they looked once I covered them in this paint they were gorgeous Okay, next I took a little bit of the Waverly chalk paint in the color mineral and I went over this just a little bit to make it look a little bit weathered. So I just added this with a dry brush and just kind of made it look weathered. Okay, to keep these two boards together, I just took some regular craft sticks that I got at the Dollar Tree and I hot glued them together onto the board and this is just to keep it a little bit sturdy so that they don't fall apart it was difficult to hot glue them together they're very thin so this was just a way to kind of stabilize it and make it easy to stay together and then I took the hot glue and I went ahead and went over the place where they connected just to make sure that they stayed together in those areas as well and this worked really well to keep them together this obviously isn't going to make them the sturdiest thing ever They're, they'll easily come apart if I drop them but this is just a decor piece I'm gonna use on my mantle so I didn't need it to be you know the strongest thing ever Okay, to put the words on this sign that I wanted, I just went to my regular Word, Microsoft Word, on my computer and I printed off the font that I wanted. So these are free fonts from Microsoft Word and I just printed them off in the size that I thought I would like and all I did was take a pencil and <laughs> scribble on the back. And so that when I turn these over and I put them on top of my board, that I could trace them and the pencil would come off on the board, which would make it easy for me to paint. Once I was finished putting the pencil on the back of the board, of the words, I just laid them out to make sure that they were exactly where I wanted them. I also wanted to make sure that the hearts would fit over the O so that I spaced these out in a way that the heart would fit. And then I taped this down so that I could trace over the letters 
and the paper wouldn't move and I made sure they were laying exactly the way I wanted them to lay. Once they were taped down and wouldn't move, I went ahead and took a pen and I just traced the outline of these words onto my board. This was really simple, but I did press down pretty hard so I could make sure the pencil showed up on my board. So that's all I did for this. They're my little helpers in the background. They can't help themselves. They have to be in every video they can. Okay, once I had it all traced and I could see the pencil really well, I went ahead and took my Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral and I started to paint over the pencil. And I loved the way this turned out. I thought it was beautiful and it was very simple to do. And so this brush, the set that I'm using is just a brush set I bought at Walmart for four dollars for a ton of different kinds of paint brushes. I also got the Waverly chalk paint at Walmart for I think it was a dollar for each different color and so those are very inexpensive and easy to find. So all of this was very inexpensive. Once I was done painting, I just took my hot glue and pulled out those galvanized metal hearts again and I glued them where the O's would be and I thought this was so cute using those little hearts as the O's and I thought it looked so farmhouse and so cute. Once I had the lettering all finished, I just took some jute string and I hot glued a little bit of it to the back and then I just wrapped this jute string, sorry about the angle, I wrapped the jute string around the edge of the boards and so it just had a little edging on it. I did this on that side and then I went ahead and did it on the other side as well. Okay guys, so those were my fun spring home decor items from the Dollar Tree that I made myself. I hope you guys enjoyed those. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my DIYs in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.